Welcome. This training will be over very basic parts of the Notifications tab, as well as creating a simple Geofence notification. The first thing you'll notice on the list is the trigger icon. This is pretty much a hint to help you find what notification you're looking for. If you hover over this icon, you can see more details about the notification including control type, parameters, actions, text of notification, resource, and more. To the right of the notification icon, you can see the notification name, as well as the notification state just a little bit over from that. A notification has two states, activated and deactivated. This is basically how you turn your notifications off and on without needing to delete them. To the right of the notification state, we can see our number of actions to be completed. If we hover over it, we can actually see what those actions are. Actions are everything the notification will do after it's triggered. For example, this one pops up on the minimap as well as sends me an email. Next, we have the activation counter, which tells you the number of times the notification is activated. To the left of this, we have the number of vehicles that can trigger this notification. And lastly, we have the notification properties or settings, copy notification properties, and delete notification. For our personal touch project, we'll create a simple geofence notification. Let's start by clicking on the new button. Part of creation of any notification is selecting which vehicles will trigger this notification. In this case, I want all vehicles to notify me. So I'll select the top left checkbox here. Now let's select the trigger type. As you can see here, we have quite a few selection of triggers, but we'll be using the geofence trigger in this case. Now we want to select whether we know it leaves or comes into our selected area. I would like to know when any of my trucks leave the Boston area. So I'll select outside geofence. And then I'll select Boston area for my geofence. It should be noted that if you would like to be notified of both exiting and entering, you'll need to make two geofence notifications. Next we'll select how we wish to get notified. I'll select notify by email, and then I'll put in the emails I wish to get notified on. I can enter as many emails as I want, but to save time, I'll limit myself to these two. I'll also select display online notification in a pop-up window, and then choose the pop-up to be green. We'll also show what this looks like after we've finished our current notification. Now we have the option to change the notification text. I want mine to look a little different, so I'll go ahead and delete the default text. Next, I'll customize how I want it to come through. So I'll type time, colon, and then I'll click on percentage, cur time, percentage. Anything within these percentage brackets will be replaced with an actual value when it sends the notification. Then I'll press enter and type unit colon and click on percentage unit percentage and press enter once more and type geofence colon and click on percentage zone percentage. Feel free to look at other variables as well to customize your notifications to their fullest. Now we'll name our geofence alert. I'll name mine leaving Boston area. You'll notice a lot of other settings here below, but their defaults are good for what we're currently trying to do. We'll go over these settings in the advanced notifications tutorial. For now, let's just click on OK. Now let's see how the notifications trigger. I've set up a special notification that will trigger only once when a unit reaches one mile per hour for this purpose. I'll activate this notification now. After the unit reaches one mile per hour, we can now see a window pop up. This is our online notifications log, displaying all of our notifications. Congratulations and thank you for completing our tutorial on the notifications tab. I hope by now you feel a little more at ease when operating through our platform. To further extend your knowledge of our platform, check out our other video tutorials. I'll see you next time.